Net blogs are heating up with word that one of Tide's detergents may contain a cancer-causing ingredient. Tide is part of the Procter & Gamble empire that's headquartered in Cincinnati, and that's where Brian Yocono from our Scripps sister station is joining us live from this morning. And Brian, this is in my laundry room. Any reaction from P&G yet? Because I'm finding this quite disturbing. You know, there's a lot of conversation about it. Good morning to you, Roxanne. We did speak with P&G officials this morning already, and they say they are aware this chemical dioxane is in their Tide products, um, but they say it's such a small amount, uh, they, they do not believe there's any threat to your health using this product. Now, P&G, as you said, located right here in Cincinnati, um, just along the skyline here. Now, the group Women's Voices for the Earth had lab tests done on the Tide Free and Gentle product, and it found it does contain the chemical. It's dioxane. And now there's a growing discussion, as you said, and a demand this morning from users of that project to get Procter & Gamble to stop using it. In fact, many of them say the company has already stopped using it in other products, such as some of its shampoo, so it doesn't understand why Procter & Gamble can't cut it out of its Tide products. Now, here's what I want to show you this morning. This is the discussion that's ongoing right now online. Change.org is a website that is following this as well. And there's a petition right now. They're looking for 150,000 people to sign this petition to get Procter & Gamble to get this chemical out of its Tide products. They're halfway there this morning. Again, that's the product they're talking about, Tide Free and Gentle. And uh, this is the discussion we're following this morning, Roxanne. That is disturbing. Now, is the EPA weighing in on all of this? It is actually, and that's the other thing, while I have the laptop out here, we'll show you that. Um, that's the other thing we were looking into this morning is the EPA has a specific oh. white where it, site where it has looked at the, the hazards of this chemical. The last update was in 2000, however, so it's from a while ago. But it talks about the fact that the chemical is appearing in groundwater and drinking water, but you have to be exposed to it in high quantities and long periods of time to have any health risks, although it does say it is a carcinogen, a possible cancer-causing agent for humans. That's the discussion this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably that's not over yet. The discussions will continue. Thank you, Brian. Reporting live for us from Cincinnati this morning. Disturbing indeed. News